I really like an author named James Clear, and he talks about successfully overcoming poor habits so that we could achieve our goals. And I like something that he said. He said that there are two types of people, people that are waiting and people who are practicing patience. Oh, I love how he broke it down. You see, people who are practicing patience, they're practicing being patient because they're not going to give up. They're unstoppable. They're focused. They know what they want to do and they're practicing discipline. They're practicing being focused. They practice their skill, their craft, their education. They practice being an entrepreneur. They practice being a better parent. They practice in being better in their communication. They practice in eating properly. They, they practice by getting coaching and counseling. They practice by not giving up and saying, okay, let me start again. Let me tweak this. Let me refine this. Let me start all over again. They're never afraid to keep moving forward because they keep practicing their faith. They keep practicing having courage, stepping up and speaking up and getting up and just going and grinding and never being defeated. They practice it. They practice that I can do this. They practice their self-affirmations. They practice practice their prayers. They practice how they're going to talk. They practice their delivery. They practice their skill, whatever it may be. And so they're never discouraged because they're like, no, I know that the end is going to come. The finish line is coming. I will manifest. I will get some results if I keep practicing eating properly, if I keep practice speaking properly, if I keep practice learning this particular skill, this computer skill, this technology, uh, this cooking, whatever it may be, I'm going to keep practicing because I expect to get results. Now, the other person is the one who just waits. They just like, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting. They get discouraged as soon as they try something like, ah, that didn't work. Or they're just waiting on a magic pill. They're waiting on somebody to do it for them. They're waiting until the weather changes. They're waiting until the economy changes. They're waiting until they get married. They're waiting until they get divorced. I'm going to wait till the kids grow up. I'm going to wait until um, somebody helps me. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait. They're not doing anything. They're not taking any action. They're just waiting. Yeah, they're not doing nothing. They're just waiting, just sitting, hoping. <laughs> and it makes me think of uh, this message I saw online. I wish I could give, um, I think it was a pastor, uh, credit for what he was sharing. But he was saying he remembered when he was a child. And he would wish I could be hungry. And he would tell his mama, there's nothing in the house to eat. There's, and she would look. She said, yes, there is. He said, uh-uh. I open up the refrigerator, open up the cupboards. There's nothing here to eat. And she would come in. And next thing you know, he would hear be hungry. All these pots and pans making noise. And he would hear the cupboard doors and drawers slamming shut. And after a while, she came out with a meal. And he said, a lot of people don't know how to cook. They want you to give them the meal. He said, my mother knew where to find the ingredients. She knew that it would take time. It would have to cook in the oven. And I thought, yes, a lot of people don't have the ingredients to practice patience. They don't know how to get coaching. They don't know how to develop their own greatness. They don't know how to develop their faith, their courage. They don't know how to get that ingredient called courage, to get that ingredient called self-worth. They don't know how to get that ingredient called good communication skills. They don't know how to get that ingredient called people skills. They don't have the ingredient called, oh, let's see, what's another ingredient uh, that I had to learn? I had to learn to have faith. I had to learn how to have self-love. I had to learn my own affirmations. I had to learn. I had to pull out so many ingredients. I had to learn to be creative, innovative. Uh, I read. Mm -hmm. I do my research. Those are ingredients. And I've been able to prepare several meals because I had the ingredients. I had coaches. I had mentors. <laughs> I prayed a lot. I told the truth about myself where I had some shortcomings, where I needed to develop. Oh, wow. I, I persevered in spite of loss and sickness and surgery and 
financial challenges and not getting paid and people not liking you, uh, the pandemic, so many things that I didn't stop. So being unstoppable and being committed to your purpose, to your goal is an ingredient. You don't waver. You're like, uh-uh, no matter what happens, I'm sticking with it. So that stick to is an ingredient. Do you have it? Do you have faith in yourself? Do you have faith in God? Do you have a relationship with the Holy Spirit? Do you have the right people in your life? Because those are important ingredients. I couldn't have done what I've done by myself. I cultivated relationships. Yeah. I was a giver and I've also been a receiver. I learned how to receive. It was difficult at first. I wanted to always be the giver. And I started learning. I got to learn how to receive. Mm -hmm. I had to learn how to practice patience. <laughs> yeah, I had to work on temperament. I had to work on unrealistic expectations, unspoken expectations, unclear expectations. Mm -hmm. I had to work on unlearning some things that I was taught, that I was programmed. And I had to learn some new things, some new ways and break old habits and old strongholds. Yeah. You know what I would really appreciate? Mm. You know what I would really appreciate? Hit the share button. Could you leave me a comment? I'm not laboring. I'm, I'm laboring and doing what I love because I really want to be a blessing to other people. And you could be a blessing to me by letting me know that my messages are getting some traction because it helps the algorithm so I can reach more people. Yeah, that would be so awesome. Have a blessed day and stay in the light.